Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I um, bring you guys today with another video of some clone amplifiers from China. I'm just going to do a quick review on here on them. So if you guys can see here, this is an FP10,000Q uh, from Sanway. The one here we have on the left is a FP10,000Q from a company called Sinbosen. Uh, this is my first uh, purchase here uh, through this company. A lot of the amplifiers I've been purchasing is through Sanway. So I decided to give it a shot and see their quality. So I'll start you guys off with the face of the amplifier here. Again, this is the Sanway FP10000. You can see there's a single power switch here. Come over to Sin Bolzin. Um, there's a power switch and there's a remote. There's the front face of it, as you can see. It will start out with the front of the amplifier, as we can see here. Um, Sin Bosen looks like they added a few more caps uh, compared to the Sinaway. So if we can see here, the caps here on the left, there is 12 caps. We'll move over here to the right for the Sinaway, and there is 10 caps. You guys can see. Um, as for fans, there is one, two, three, four, five. Five fans. So my older FP10,000 and FP14,000 I have, um, if I remember right, there was four fans in them. So this Sanway 10,000 um, must be their new model or something. I don't know what they did to it, but they added an extra fan. All the other FP10,000 and 14,000 that I have have four fans. So I guess they want to add that fan for more cooling and cram there in there. Um, if you guys can see here with the Sin Bolzin, there is four fans, as you guys can see. Okay. Um, bringing you here to the wiring. Um, I see the wiring on the Sin Bolzin is a little thicker than the, um, the Sanway one, as you guys can see here. Okay, um, another thing what I noticed is that the Sin Bolzin one is a little longer. I guess why it's a little longer is they had to add the two caps, from 10 caps to 12, and I guess the cooling board uh, is a little longer, all the cooling towers, which is right back there. And that's the Sanway cooling towers. Oh, cooling fins, sorry. Um, if you guys can see there, it's pretty much leveled up right here. And that's the distance, how much longer the um, Sin Bolzin is. Another thing I noticed is that the uh, cable on the thin, thin, Sin Bolzin um, is a little, uh, a little more thicker. It's a little more thicker of a cable. Uh, it is very flexible. It's, to be honest, it's a real nice cable. Um, that's the Sanway cable that's on there. Uh, it's a little more tougher cable, but at the same time, it is a power cable. So some of you guys are um, get a little crazy when it comes to power cable. I want a thicker cable, but um, what else we got here? Let me turn around to the back of the amplifier so you guys can see the back here. Um, that is the back of the Sin Bosen. Got your link outs there. You got your inputs. Oh, so you got your dip switches back there. Your inputs, and then your speak on out. Okay. Bring you over here to the Sanway one. So same thing. You got your speak on. You got your XLRs. You got all your dip switches. What I did see here compared to the Symbolzin, was that this thing had a parallel and stereo uh, button, which the Symbolzin one didn't. Uh, again, you got your balance outputs. Another thing I noticed that the Sanway one had a fuse. Don't know why the fuse is out there. Um, I don't even know this, how many amps this fuse even is. Can't even get to that right now. Um, Again, I'll work my way out to the front here of the amplifier. 
on both of them. Another thing I noticed is the volume parts. So the volume parts on the Sin Bolzen are some old generic, old school volume parts. You guys can see there. And on the Sanaway one, you can see those four little, see the lighting is in there. Better there. There's four little blue, that's the backings, I guess, of the volume pods. I guess those are permanent and they don't need any uh, dextrol, any lubrication when your pods get staticky. The access to the sin, uh, sin bows and ones are pretty, pretty easy to get to if you do have to lube them up. I'll do another, uh, do another, let me just get this moving here. I'm just gonna show you guys them being powered up. Let me show you the difference. So that's a sin bows and one getting powered up. See that's idling. I don't know how loud that's gonna be on the camera. I will turn that down. So if you guys seen this thing powering up, <clears throat> okay, now you're gonna compare it to the sand wave powering up. So that's the FP uh, 10,000 through Sanaway that's powered up. And what I did notice is that when the Sin Bozo one powers up, um, it gets to idle pretty quick. Um, Sanway one, it turns on. The fans go, I guess, at full speed for a few seconds there, and then they bring themselves back down. Uh, the Sanway one is a little louder because I guess having the uh, fifth fan there, as you guys can see there, compared to the Sin Bozen that has four fans. Again, I have not tested them. These amplifiers are brand new. Um, I just got them in today. Just giving you guys a quick video of them. Um, I will do a review on them uh, when I AB them um, back and forth. And again, here's a video.